I'm Lee, this is Jump, and I'm going to show you some script editor tips and tricks that are going to make your scripting life a lot easier. Now, the first thing you will notice is that we have script coloring, syntax coloring, in the script editor. So, your variables and jump commands and strings and numerics all come out in a different color. Colors you can specify yourself if you want, but it makes picking apart your script much, much easier. Uh, the next thing is this idea of highlighting braces. When we say brace, we mean parentheses, square bracket, and so forth. Now here, I've positioned my cursor just before a brace here, and the corresponding brace here has highlighted. Similarly, put it just before a brace, the corresponding brace highlights. Down below, just before a brace, and the corresponding brace down here highlights. This code seems to be a bit crammed together, and we always encourage people to leave a lot of white space because it makes things much easier to read. Well, you can do that uh, automatically with Jump Now by using the Reformat Script option. Here you see that we, the, we've got the proper white space and indenting and so forth uh, that works. Uh, if you don't like our indenting, for example, this little block right here, you can use the Tab key or the Shift Tab key to move it around and put it where you would like it. So, indent at will. Speaking of parentheses, there's one more fantastic feature. If I double click on one, I get highlights that go all the way through to the last one, so I can see physically the block of code that that parenthesis holds drain over. Similarly right here, that's a very short block. This is a very long block. This is even longer block, but it's very helpful to match things up like that with, with uh, the double clicking. Now, down here you see that I've begun a conditional statement. If A and B hold the same thing, the two variables are the same, then do something. For most script editors, if I hit return at this spot, it's just going to give us a second line. Uh, however, here, if I hit return, we get a properly indented second line and a closing brace that's at its proper place if you had reformatted the script. Thus, we've built some intelligence into just hitting return. Here, I've got the, obviously, I've got the sign function, and to give it its argument, I need to put it inside of parentheses. Now, notice I'm only going to press a single parenthesis, parenthesis 2, and the second one gets filled in for me. However, don't, if that seems annoying to you, just if I actually do hit both parentheses, jump takes that into account and lets me move on. I can also use the arrow key to move past that second parenthesis, or I can turn that second parenthesis off altogether. The point is, lets you work at your comfort level. On to auto-completion. I've started typing y equals g a m. Obviously, I want a gamma function of some sort, but I've forgotten exactly which gamma functions are available in jump. So if I press uh, the control space shortcut, you see I get a list of all of the functions that include g a m. Uh, suppose I wanted gamma distribution, it would then type gamma distribution for me. Same thing down here, I've got messages to something that is, is a box. I want to know what messages are possible to send to a box. Simply hit control space, and I get a list of all the messages that I can send to that box, except current estimates maybe, or action in this case. Uh, we've got a slightly better parsing of error messages than we used to. Here I've got a purposely bad JSL statement, and I press run and it tells me that there's an unexpected brace, maybe a missing comma or, or square brace. The thing to look at is that it's got two things highlighted here, a square brace and a curly brace. Aha! I think I know what the problem is. And in fact, if you hover your mouse over the line, it'll re-show you the uh, error message again. And of course, the problem is that this should not be a curly brace, that should be a square brace, and it seems to now match up just fine. If I submit this uh, vector as an index of 1 to 10, again, run the script, uh, if I then hover over vec, it tells me what's inside of vec. Vec is the numbers, it's a, it's a vector of the integers 1 through 10. If I hover over index, I get a list of 
what index can be. What are the possible syntax constructions for index? Now, if I go back up to the top and I'll illustrate searching for you, we can now support regular expressions. So if I searched for dot dot dnt and I tell it to use regular expressions, that regular expression means any two first letters and dent is the last four. It finds unindent. It finds indent again and so forth. So regular expressions are part of the jumps scripting editor now. Uh, well, I hope you've enjoyed the script editor tour. This whole, this whole script that I was just running is available in your sample scripts library. Uh, wherever your sample scripts are installed, try your default location. Uh, or contact someone at Jump. We'll send it right to you. I'm Lee. This is Jump. Thanks.